Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Anno1800. In the last video, I started doing some renovations, put down some more pig farms, and also some more potato farms to try to increase my schnappy production. But I'm also going to head into my balances, and I've been doing a lot of research in this game since I picked it up. So we have a big surplus of fish, and also we now have a surplus of schnappies as we go over this but we do have a demand when it comes to work clothes sausages is almost evened out but bread is now a problem and also beer this is what's really helpful is that i'm trying to make sure that these are all being produced correctly no demand for brick right now totally fine um let's see work by profit i can make a lot of the sausage but if i start making more bread not bread oh flowers at a massive deficit right now and so is bread so we need to looks like i need to start working on that Excuse me. And this is just in brighter sands, mind you. This is not actually all islands. There we go. Making a lot of... We're not doing a lot with the peppers right now because I'm not doing anything with the peppers. The beef is being utilized, I believe, here on brighter sands, but the beer is not being produced enough. Soap, I can probably make a little bit of cash on as well. And I do have some coal that I want to do some with. I also want to take advantage of a couple of things that I was reading about between videos. Let's go to my ship menu. And you're a schooner that's just chilling out. Cool beans. I was reading about this. So, Eli Bleakworth's Harbor will sell iron, and coal, and zinc, and copper. He'll buy, so well, he'll purchase soap and also potatoes. And if I go over here, they'll buy coal for 32. Here's my idea. I purchased the coal for 20 here and sell it over here for 32 and to kind of fund this little expedition how much soap do i have i have 56 i'd soap. rather not lose that ship okay so i actually can start that as what i'm going to just decline that for the moment because i want to do that here in a little while but i'm going to go ahead and set up a trade route i'm going to start here i'm going to load up his coal and here, we're going to unload the coal. All it's going to be. There we go. I'm going to create that route. And hopefully, we're going to have to spend a little bit of money here. That's okay. We'll fill it up. And then we'll drop it off over here. Totally fine. All right, we have our gunboat down this. here. Um, I actually don't want to start that mission just yet because I'm trying to get our money, trying to get the money into the green. Also, when I was looking at my stats, I'm not producing enough work clothes. Bit of a problem because seeing you know, that everybody needs work clothes at the moment. I'm producing money of wool though, so I think what I need to do is take more, produce more sheep farms and produce more work clothes and i need to do that in an area that's relatively concentrated similar to what i've got down here this area looks really nice but i also have a lumberjack hut down here and my lumber could do a little better not doing great so i'm gonna slap down another lumberjack hut here And another one in there. Give me a couple of roads over to it. Lovely, lovely. And there is... Framework Knitters. Well, there's no warehouse in range for this one, unfortunately. But I can work on that. This one does have a warehouse in range right here. That one's obviously in range of a warehouse. I could... If I mess with... That. Looks like I'm only at 94, 95% right now because I've started to build and encroach into it. I'm almost in the green right now, and I do think I need to work on increasing that by doing some work over here. Lafayette has 280 folks working, and I do think we can do a little bit more over here too. This island has fertility for potatoes, grain, red peppers, and grapes. So I do think I need bricks here. I think that was what I was actually bringing that ship over here for. Let's actually pick up some bricks. Big one of you. Where you at? You're... Okay. You're pretty far... You're not too far away. Uh, 
Okay, he is not there yet, but he's going to get there eventually. Ryder Sands is fairly happy, and I want to make sure that I'm increasing that too. Just took a big old hit on that. Not fun. Let's work on getting my sheep up and running. I do think this would be a good area to put some sheep down and utilize this. I should know. I want to put a road around this church first. It's going to allow me to put some houses down near it also, and we'll go ahead and... Do it like that. And I'm starting to do... I'm From how I've been reading more and more into this game, I'm seeing that doing like these 2 by 3 setups is really good, so I'm going to give it a shot. This got an achievement. City Planner. I don't know what I did. I'm guessing it's something to do with all the houses I put down. I don't know. Oh, I'm using blueprint mode. So I'll actually put those all and create some houses out of it. I'm now using blueprint mode also, just to kind of help make things look more decent than they already are. Now, I do like the idea of maybe putting a road out this way. And measure deposits, oil fields, left. Okay. So I'm going to take a road out over this way. And take a road all the way out here, too. Now I've got this big old area I can do something with. And if I go into Nya... How's my wheat doing here? Hmm. It's going to go down a little bit. And then we also need flour and bread. This is an opportunity to maybe put some of that over here. And how much flour am I sitting on at the moment? I'm sitting on a whopping 30 wheat, 30 grain. Okay. So we need more grain production. And I do like the idea of putting that kind of over here. So let's copy that. Get some fields out. Thinking right about here. There we go. That's not a bad way to do it. 144, but I will cancel that one. 143, I think it looks pretty dang good. There we go. Now we're producing a little more grain, and I'll copy that. I'm actually going to put this one here. And from that, we'll go... So this is grain every minute, and this is going to produce flour every 30 seconds. Where's the entrance to this guy? I think that's the entrance. From here. Okay, plenty of field space still left. Do like that. Go. And I believe that these guys are in the range of a warehouse right here. Yeah, barely in range of this warehouse, but this guy's not in range. However, he doesn't need to go to a warehouse, just needs to go over here. And we're missing single grain fields on each of them. Let's check my trade route here. This little uh, idea I had. So hopefully this is going to start uh, working in my favor. Still using plenty of bricks. The demand is starting to catch up a little bit, but I'm definitely consuming more than I'm producing. So it looks like I need to kick that up into high gear a little bit more. Soap, we are outpacing it, which is good. I want to start actually producing a lot of soap. Because, what I see is, again, the prison is a great way to sell soap. Too many transporters, loading is delayed. Do I have enough to do this? I do not have the windows, unfortunately, for this. So, I'm now a victim of my own success here, is that I have too many people at this warehouse. I'm gonna put a road around that guy. Go to build him up, and now hopefully some of these goods will be taken over to here, 
and not over to this warehouse. Trying to balance things out a little bit as I'm doing that over here. Let's see how we're doing on the fish, too, because that was a concern I had in... Well, we are full up on fish. That's actually a good thing. Who can buy... Who's willing to buy fish from me? You're not. And the prison, I think, is just willing to buy... Yeah, soap and potatoes. How's my potato production doing? And that's always something that's really good to figure out, too. Haven't done a lot with influence yet. Um, gonna need to work on this. But I also need to figure out how it works. And production, we're looking at... Looking at I totally forgot to actually build these lumberjack huts. Whoops. I do like the idea of actually building another... Hmm. Build out here. Free harbor area needed. So I could put it out there. Or I could also just put it on this side, too. We'll do that. It's actually going to increase how much storage I have across all my sites. I now have 225 available for storage. It's also going to allow me to start storing more fish. Big, big help there. All right. Grain area is we missing goods. Yeah, I totally understand that. I do think maybe another warehouse can go down here. Let's actually do that and slap a road down around it. There we go. We'll start bringing goods over this way, because now we can load stuff up over here. Alright. What else am I low on production-wise? It's definitely the wheat. But demand is four. Actually, no, we're doing good on that. I think it's more just making stuff I can sell right now so let's make more things that i can sell or i can upgrade some homes too actually no i can't my farmers i produce i do only have an extra 58 farmers although we need those basic work needs hey remember i talked about you need to get more sheep done totally blanked on that you know like an idiot let's go ahead put down a road this way let's see if we can get down a Sheep farm, right in here. Oh, is an idea. I could do it like that. That's not a bad idea. Put it like that, and I could put a grain silo on there as well. Or I could just, you know... Build another one right here, too. Here we do this. Not the most efficient, mind you, but I do want to make sure we've got... Uh, oh, the building is just a skosh too big. Damn. I will put it right there. I'm still learning the shortcuts, too. So now, produce some more sheep, and we have a slight deficit on the workforce at the moment, which we'll address. But we have our framework knitters. They'll go ahead and get the wool from here, and hopefully move it over to this. I think that's what we're moving right now. Hello, people. How you doing? Maybe? Yep. I think this is the cart for it. They're loading it right now. Totally fine by me. We'll actually get that going. Still running out of deficit, but I'm hopefully making a little bit more money. Ooh. Angle up. Yep. Still has coal. And I'm just going to keep buying that coal from and I'm going to sell it over there and just turn a profit on it. A little bit of cash come my way, which is, of course, always good. Now it looks like it's being brought over here. Okay, perfect. Every 30 seconds, it's going to produce four wool. We only have two in storage, so let's go ahead. We'll put another one down right next to it. Because I do want to make sure that I've got plenty of wool production. And, of course, keeping the folks happy, kind of a thing. Um, hmm. 
My marketplace is running into a problem. Let's see what's going on here. All right, bread's in need. Jam and soap. Okay. Wait, what was that last thing on soap? It happens by good, but you pay no taxes. There's no canned goods available, unfortunately, yet. Do you yet. call it altruism? Um, I call it thank you. I don't know what altruism means. I'm an American. I went to an American public school. That word is too big for my vocabulary. Anyway. Got a lovely bit of stuff coming in. Okay, needs unfulfilled. So, yeah, bread's becoming a need again. Let's work it. And we'll go over here, and let's find the brut. Oh, we need a oh, hey, look, this bakery fits. Oh, wow. Was not planning that, but it fits quite nicely. Right there. It's going to be a happy little bakery. And of course, this is taking more money, more stuff that I need at the moment, which, not good. Um... I'm actually going to do this to increase the loading and unloading at this warehouse because there's a lot of stuff that is serving this warehouse. We have this wheat farm can come down here. The grain farm, excuse me. We've got our flour mills bringing the stuff here, and now our bakery is going to be a pulling supplies. Inspection. Exactly. It's going to be coming over here to get stuff loaded up. So let's also put the game back at like regular speed because I've been running at low speed for this entire video. I'm going for 16 minutes so far recording-wise. Checking up here, I do have a lot of my production paused up here because this is a hemorrhage on funding. I do want to build another schooner, though. I don't have a lot of sawmills right now, I'm realizing that. So let's double check my wood production at the moment. It says I've got eight, but I only see two here. So I'm going to build a couple more. Build these two up. I'm actually slap a road around this guy. Make it a little nicer too, and also going to be increasing. Instead of taking this all the way to here, it can take it right to here. Can I actually divert you? Nope, I can't. Damn. Hopefully, they'll take it from here to here. No running the, the carts all the way to that. Alright. I am losing folks, which is not good. It's also telling me I need to Proper either job. meet demands. Unfortunately, I, I am super low on my uh, farmer workforce. Thankfully, the work clothes are now being fulfilled okay. because I have this working for me. And also, I've got a population of 3,000 here. That may have been the achievement I got earlier. When do we start again? Well, grain, 60 to flour, no bread at all being produced. That's a problem for me. Yeah, I'm probably not doing this very efficiently when it comes to the bakery, but I definitely need to make sure that I'm getting enough of it. This fire station I'm worried about. I feel it reflects the times. Oh boy, here we go. Oh. Let's actually go for consumerism to increase my income for a little bit. It took minimal revision. Such a thrill when it pays off. Likes to use propaganda. So let's actually look into putting a pub down here. I feel like I've made a giant mistake not putting a pub down on this island yet. Is this a pub? No, it's a fire station. Boom. And let's build it. That's going to make people happy. I hope at least. Uh, let's see. Happiness, yep, there's the pub luxury need taken care of right there. Good, good, good. I'm gonna keep these folks happy for a little bit. Let's check out more stuffs. Does more stuffs have a pub? Does more stuffs want a pub? And bothered. They want a pub. Yeah, let's build them a pub. Ship constructed. Alright, I'm gonna build this one up here. It should actually accommodate the needs of the people. We have plenty of grain being produced, plenty of hops. 
And I think for a malt house, we can do that. We need workers for it. We also need steel for it, which I don't have. At least not on this island. Hmm. I will consider working on that further. But it, just trying to get that money to go the right direction is just bugging me a little bit. I could actually turn off my uh, steel works for a little bit. Hold the machine. Just to... There we go. We're back. At, we're now losing like 26 per. I'm just going to... Uh, that should be fine. There we go. Back in the green. That's what I like to see. And I do need to upgrade one of these workers to an artisan. This guy. That's just to get the artisan number back above uh, thing. And now we got to deal with the canned goods. Let's look at the canned goods here real quick. Artisanal kitchen. We need windows. Hey, look. There's the rabbit hole. Hmm. We don't have the money for it, actually. So, it is a small problem. We assist however we may. How much soap do I have? 72? I'm going to take some soap. And potatoes. New orders. Nope. Shouldn't let them take more than 30. Shouldn't do that still. There we go. 90 potatoes. I sell this over Adjust to Eli. The sale. There you go. Spent 800. I only took in the 40 that he had, but I'll sell these potatoes for 32. That'll most likely give you enough money to make the glass maker. Right here. Or the window maker, excuse me. All the materials are here. Where's the front for this guy? I already told where the front is actually on this guy right here. Oh wait, there it is, this is Windows Factory. There we go. And it says I need 75 workers for it? No, 100 workers! Oh boy. I'm gonna need to make more... Artisans. Happy melodies. Now unfortunately, the artisans are immediately gonna be unhappy because I don't have... Oh, honor is priceless. Oh, I did fail that mission, by the way. The, um... The timed one. I wasn't paying attention to it. Oh well. So, it looks like school is now a need that's only partially being met. Especially out here. So, that's going to become a problem as well. However, my artisans... Looks like the... Okay, another school may be required to address this. Dang, that school big. Oh, wow. There's actually a need for schools out here, maybe? Let's put it down. Let's blueprint it over here. I'm going to blueprint it here. And I'm actually going to connect these roads. I have the materials for it. It's going to cost me a little bit, but now we have another school, which is going to... I don't think this increases their need, but it will... Con um, it is going to help them, I know that. Once I upgrade into workers, because hey, look, now I have a happy worker. And the church is not too far away, too. Interesting. Once I get my 6,000, of course, this will get... 6,500, excuse me. Uh, then I'll be able to put my artisans to work over there. And now once I get that, then I can start going for the artisanal kitchen, which is going to cost me 7000 to make. Iron mine, hey look, I got iron. And then a cannery, which is going to cost me 15000 to produce. Wow, 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 wow. The rabbit hole in this game. Let's pop over to Lefayre, because I've spent a lot of time over on my main island. I am starting to neglect these other ones, and I do feel bad about it. But over here, we can produce a lot more. We have potato, grain, red pepper, and grape fertility. Well, what can I do with grain that would be helpful for folks? Yeah, you know what, I'm building one of these guys. 
All right, I'm going to go out this way with it. Oh, damn. Okay. Blueprint like this. There we go. There's 144 there. Boom. Now we're producing grain on this island. And eventually, I'll need to put a flour mill down. This looks like it's... My brain has not stopped working. I know I need to do grain into flour into bakery. I just cannot remember the the combo for it. But no, there is so much land out here. I've got so much available to me. That I really need to start... Just go absolutely bonkers. Just build out, put a bunch of fisheries over here, a bunch of stuff, and start doing more trading. My brain is not letting me right now. I think my... I think my ADD meds are starting to wear off a little bit. Over here in more stuffs. What can we do with these folks? We got the... Hops fertility, grain fertility. Which again... We got the hops and the grain. Is Realistically, if we get... 8 steel over here... And 100 workers... We can start building beer on this island. Let's look at... So what did I say? Eight steel? I'll put 20 over there. And how many bricks did I say? Yeah. I can start making beer on more stuffs. I like it. Let's go. No space left here. And we're now even full on fish, too. Wow. Very googly moogly. We're making a little bit of cash, which is good, because I need to be starting to make a hell of a lot more cash. We have a consumption tax, which is really the only reason I'm making all this extra money, is I still need to be producing more, trading more, selling more. And how much? I didn't check how much. I have 80 soap. Actually pretty good. Ship under attack. Show me. I Move it. Not even death can make us happy. Pirate frigate Ant owned by Anne Harlow. It looks like she's trying to settle this island. This is a pretty good island, too. Um, zinc deposits, coal deposits. No, a gunboat you will not uh, be able to hold against it. I actually go this way. Gotta stay I have away to from trust it. my instincts where you're concerned. Stations. Oh, let's go here. I totally forgot to do that trade. Done. Boom. A little extra cash. Aye. And we don't need anything from him, do we? No, we don't need any of that stuff. Come back on over here. And potatoes, I mean, I've got some. Could have a lot more. And probably should get a lot more. Again, it's me trying to figure out exactly what the needs are here. And once we get the 6500 bucks, we upgrade it, and we're good. Um, let's see. I don't know if I sell something for the crown. Hmm. It would give me a lot of cash really quick, but I don't think I want to sell a chunk of my island support off just yet. I want to get... I'm going to have to soon. Church is not... Church is, does have a radius, and it's not, I don't think, producing... As much as it should. Let's take a look at the houses. There we go. Farmer, be happy. Upgrade you too. Because also, they're paying more taxes per house. So that's another reason I'm looking at them. Alright. Looks like sausages are still an issue for me. So let's take a look over here. Yep, we're low on sausage. But we're producing plenty of pigs. So let's go ahead, slap down to the slaughterhouse. I'm gonna put it up there. Got two going over there. Am I producing more pigs than I need? Because my soap factory 
Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's two pig farms, two rendering works, and one soap factory. The soap factory is every 30 seconds. This is every minute. This is every minute. So yeah, each one of these goes directly into here. And these two go into here. I also have a silo in this one. I wonder if the silo is actually... Ah! It's actually doing it faster. So I have productivity increased at this one. Hmm. I guess I'm going to need more pig farms at this rate then, just to make sure that I've got everything going in the right direction. But now the supply is not in the, in the positive. Hmm. Okay. It is a little interesting how to uh, try to figure out the balance in this game. And I'm going to continue working on the balance because, again, I love this game. It is gorgeous. I just picked up some biff and some peppers. But, of course, I can't really do anything with it right now because I don't have the materials needed to do it. I'm, at this rate, I am going to have enough money next video to uh, produce, go to my window makers because I've got the glass. I have plenty of glass right now, but I don't have any windows. And let's see what's actually needed for the windows proper. Because I have a feeling there's going to be something that's like, I'm going to go further down the rabbit hole. I guess it's going to be glass. Oh, yeah, it's going to be glass and wood. Derp. Or glass and logs. Thankfully, I have 126 logs. I've got plenty of wood. And we should be okay on that front. All right. Plenty of fish. That I could probably start trading as well. Plenty of wool. Hey, look, I needed that. The sausage is not being made as fast Trade as it agreement needs to be. Between competitors has ended. Cool. I need to start doing something with the pigs, turning them into sausages, or turning them into soap. If I turn them into soap, I can get a lot more cash for them. And, Stations. excuse me, really get myself into a good position. Let's actually do that and wrap up the video. I'm going to do 58. Do that and that. I'm going to send him On our way. over to Wormways because we can sell that and that'll be more than enough for us to get to our goal. I'm going to wrap up the video by continuing doing my exploring and taking a little look at my city. We're two weeks fully into the game. I'm happy where things stand right now. And if you're happy with this video series and all the videos that come out on my channel, drop a like, leave a comment. The comments actually help the algorithm in getting this video, getting these videos in front of more eyes. RTA and Source coming out on Friday. I'm going to do probably one episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker this weekend, take Christmas off, and hopefully next week a little bit more Anno 1800. I'm loving all of these little pops that I come up on the screen. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.